What's up? Welcome back to the video. Today's video, we are gonna bring my pet dragon Zark. Turn one, every single duel. Let's go. Welcome back to another video. As I said, we're gonna take my pet dragon Zark and fly his way to six negates. We're gonna put up Zark every single turn, backed up with five negates on top. It is gonna be an absolutely unbreakable board, and it is time to show the master duel world why Zark is unbeatable let's go we're like two subs away from 70 000 subscribers so smash the subscribe button let's get this video to 5 000 likes so smash the like button and i want you guys to comment down below right now i want you guys to comment down below right now if you guys want to see more master duel content i know i've been doing all tcg content but i love my master duel duelists out there and even though i despise the noobs in this game i will create the best deck for you guys to destroy them so without further ado, let's go straight, not into the video, let's go straight on the www.thetroopgaming.com so you guys can buy the best playmats in the game. You guys can scroll down below in this video, click the description, and you're going to see very neatly every single playmat I've ever purchased, I've ever made on the website. I made it all very neat for you guys, so go check it out right now. Also, check out the Patreon, you guys can learn more about Master Duel. Let's get started on this Zark combo tutorial deck profile full guide and destruction let's go now what you guys are about to witness is crime in some countries by how absolutely incredible i'm going to obliterate my opponent here so i'm going to go upstart goblin i go curtain razor and a lot of these cards they might be a little confusing to you this is a pretty complicated pendulum deck if you guys are new players i would advise check out the pendulum fdk i posted a few days ago it'll be more for your skill level if you're a new player but if you know about pendulums a lot you're gonna love this zark F zark deck that puts up zark every single turn it's really amazing my dual alliance gets ash blossom you hate to see when your dual alliance gets ash blossom but it literally, i don't give i don't care i'm still gonna put up ten thousand negates so here you're just gonna go through the motions when you drop an extender always make the electromite first get some free value i did a pretty big brain play here but as you guys notice i wisdom my magician before i went into electromite just in case my opponent imperms my electromite because if he imperms electromite wisdom my effect will happen the mandatory effect will trigger and i can't draw but i could draw later with my starving venom anyways we're gonna keep going here we're gonna send astrograph now this is where it gets really complicated we're actually gonna zark, summon out zark and a whole bunch of other stuff but you always want to make sure to do it in the perfect correct way so we're gonna get as much value as possible we're gonna get lots of pluses and the idea that you want to do as well is to play around the nibiru so at this point i summon celine i noticed that the timer did not go off the timer did not like stop or anything like that i now instantly know that there is no nibiru so you can play freely at this point i want to set up double time start double time starts how you're going to guarantee your zark so i go time star effect here to search chronograph sorcerer and i do a very cool i do not summon off celine because i want to make a second time star magician you always want to, to ensure Zark, you make two time star magicians. It is not a hard ones per turn. So it's a very big brain play here. If this is confusing at all, I highly recommend check out the Patreon where I showcase how to play this deck like a little more in depth. So here we're going to go with Selene's special power poison. We did this because we do not have four magicians to summon out time star magician. We're not going to summon out our second time star magician. I know this is complicated. Just stick with me. We can use the second time star magician now to search Astrograph. Doesn't matter. We're going to trigger Wizard of My Magician, but we're going to protect it with time star. Did you guys see that play? Did you guys see that play? That is why you need double time star magician. To make Zark, you need to have all four of the magicians in the graveyard. So you do that by triggering time star, which is not once per turn, on the Wisdom My Magician. And Wisdom My Magician is also not once per turn. They work hand in hand. So now with the second time star magician, you protect it, the Wisdom Might for a second time to send another material. So now we got White Wing and Black Fang in the graveyard. The only cards we're missing now in the graveyard is Double Iris Magician and Purple Poison Magician. If you check under time star, we already have a pearl poison magician under time star, which will eventually hit the graveyard. So all we're missing now is one double iris magician. And then we're going to either need chronograph or astrograph on the field. The special summon Zark on turn number one. But you don't just want to end on one Zark. You want to end on five negates on top of the Zark, right? So here we're going to go wisdomite. We're going to bring out that specific double iris. We're going to special summon that Astrograph sorcerer. And now we're going to start looping all these cards like crazy. What card is not banned in, the, in, in Master Duel that's banned in TCG? That's amazing right now. It is Supreme King starting Venom. So we're going to need to start creating some space. We're going to make Utopic Draco Future over here. To just literally, we're just clearing space. We're going to make an Apoloza. We're clearing space because now we're going to start looping starting Venom a lot. 
we're gonna go into starting venom over here we're gonna use starting venom effect copying electromite we're gonna pop the double iris we're gonna add astrograph and we're gonna special summon in this scenario chronograph sorcerer chronograph sorcerer is gonna special celestial this will trigger celestial we'll add pendulum graph to our hands pendulum graph add uh celestial added to end phase and then we're gonna use old dragon to add double iris the reason why we did this there's only one double iris and not two so use the first double iris to search pen graph and you save your old dragon specifically for double iris i know what you're thinking this is super complicated and your brain is not as big as mine but don't feel bad about that because no one's brain is as big as mine so we're going to continue on with this and we're going to go into another supreme king starting venom we're going to go wisdom my magician bring a black bang uh magician special summon astrograph sorcerer get literally free pluses for nothing free value bro we're going to trigger astrograph sorcerer now to special summon zark big boy zark <laughs> that's so beautiful now we're gonna need to create some space so we're gonna use starting venom popping the corner uh popping the black fang to add wisdom eye we're gonna special harmonizing for no reason whatsoever we're gonna take the two har uh supreme king starting venoms now we're gonna turn them into har hope harbinger so against ash blossom we set up hope harbinger utopic draco future double apoloza both apoloza negates will go through because hope harbinger will protect them from entering battle to attack the apoloza and we have big daddy zark and we have Pengraph popping two cards. Now it's about to get even better. Zark has a floodgate effect in the scale. So when Pengraph is going to use use its effect to pop Pearl Poison and pop a card my opponent has, we're going to use Pearl Poison to pop our own Zark, putting our own Zark in the scale to stop our opponent from using Synchro, Fusion, and XYZ effects. Look at how beautiful this board is. People cannot even put up Zark turn one by itself. We put up Zark with six interruptions on top. <laughs> absolutely insane. Like, absolutely beautiful. So we're going to pass our turn here. Celeste is going to add his Joker for a follow-up. And our follow-up is crazy. Because you're going to have Joker in hand. You're going to have scales, fully complete scales. Star Pendulum Graph will search you any magician you're missing. And you're going to drop for turn. So you're going to have three cards in your hand that you're going to get for free. You're going to utilize them to destroy your opponent. Then you're going to fuck your opponent up. And they're going to have no chance whatsoever. Here, we're going to pass our turn. And he already Ash. Uh, this is all through Ash Blossom as well, by the way. All through Ash Blossom. Ooh. All of that just to get hit with Dark Ruler no more. All of that just to get hit with Dark Ruler no more. And you know what? He sets a card. So I'm like, it's fine. You know, he sets a card. I just set up six negates with a big booty Zark. But he set a card. He's probably playing Eldritch. What, what's he doing? Dark Lord. He's going to waste the Dark Lord no more for nothing. And then this guy goes unchained. And I'm like, damn it, bro. But guess what? That's yeah, all good. We're still going to win. Here I make a mistake, okay? For some reason, I thought Zark stops Link Monsters. For some reason. And I pop that. I know he's going to add a free card for nothing. But I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I'm just going to pop this instead. I'm going to pop this. No one plays two dogs. It's fine. We're going to pop this. He's literally going to have zero play. He cannot out this big ass board. It's fine. It's totally fine. He plays two dogs. What the? F Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now I'm severely tilted. But guess what? A real pen god does not get tilted. We are playing a massive noob. His name is not Mr. Sinister, it is Mr. Noob. Guess what? We're still going to win. It's fine. Hope you. We're going to wait. What's the beauty of Pendulums? It's the fact that the follow-up is unlike any deck has ever seen before. He's going to utilize all of his cards to link off all my cards with his effects. My whole board is going to be gone. My whole board... I just set up six negates. I just played for 10 minutes on my turn. And my whole board is about to be gone. He's going to pop that. He's going to pop this. My whole board is gone. Guess what? The beauty of pendulums is that I'm just going to make the exact same fucking board again. I'm going to OTK him now. He's at 9,000 life points. I have both pen graphs and I have three cards in my hand. It doesn't matter. I'm going to OTK him. It literally doesn't matter. Here, I'm going to go pen graph to pop that. I'm going to use star pen graph to add an oaf dragon. I'm going to go oaf dragon. I'm going to go harmonizing. I'm going to go oaf dragon to add. And I'm just going to pendulum summon all over again. I make sure to summon to use these effects out. I bring them out. I add that one back. Bring out Baron DeFloor. 
Harmonizing Magician makes all of my monsters extremely high attack points by its effect. Effect, pop, enter battle, negate that, attack for game. I just put up six negates with the Zark just to get Dark Ruler. And because of the insane follow up of Pendulums, we still won the game. This Zark deck is the best deck to grace Master Duel. It is truly beautiful. It is truly a thing of beauty. So as you guys witnessed there, Zark is just truly unstoppable. I have four different replays as well. I don't want to post a one hour video on YouTube, but if you guys want to check out those replays, I will be posting them on my Patreon. So go check them out if you would like to learn more about Zark and check out my pet dragon Zark. It is very awesome and the deck has insane follow up as you guys saw. But don't worry, the video is not done yet. I saved the best for right now, the deck profile. So you guys got this far, why don't you guys smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Now it's time to show you guys the deck profile. Let's go. And this is the deck profile. The idea of the deck is very simple. You loop the time stars, which are not once per turn. You loop sorry Menums, not once per turn. Loop Ostergoth Sorcerer, not once per turn. Loop the Block Bangs, not once per turn. You just loop, 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 summon 40 times in the turn and destroy your opponent. You end on Zark with six negates every single turn going second you destroy them you otk them you make them delete the game of master duel this is the deck profile dragon pit magician in every single magician deck in master duel you need to play one dragon pit magician there's a lot of noobs on master duel and they play a lot of floodgates and they don't know anything about the game having one dragon pit magician in your deck to out all these floodgates which is the only way you're going to lose against these noobs is very vital one tuning magician is because you send to the graveyard two to four times per turn per game with time star magician so if you already have zark you send the tuning magician as a free special summon two perform pendulum sorcerers one three wisdom eye three wisdom eye three perform boss by joker two harmonized magician one double iris three black fang you need to play three i'm telling you this is literally like vital okay you loop this card going first or going second in this deck we don't play pen call for that specific reason one white wing magician just for zark three purple poison uh, it's mainly for Zark, but going second has a lot of value, especially against Sword Soul. You normal summon a Purple Poison, enter Battle Phase, attack Shi Shao. All these Master Duel idiots are going to negate it with Baron to Floor. They just out all, four, all three of their interruptions. Three Curtain Razor, one Celestial Magician, three Oak Dragon, one Chrono, one Astro. Three Upstart, one Terraforming, three Chicken Game, all the draw power possible, and two Duelist Alliance. Duelist Alliance is not crazy in this deck. It is not like absurdly broken. You always get access to Double Iris if you don't have it by Wisdom Might or by Electro Might. So uh it, you don't need to have a third to have it dead it's really not that crazy in the deck it's just like a decent card but you don't want to see multiples i know like if it was really good in the deck i'd play three of course but you're not playing pen call like it's just not that insane there's just no reason to have a draw third uh especially because you're playing a lot of draw power and one of you start uh pendulum graph one star pendulum one time pendulum graph three supreme dragon starting venom because you go two on turn one and a third is just the best follow-up one zark one Borload savage it's better than bearing the floor because you could utilize the Tuning Magician and the Astrograph to make a Savage Dragon at the very end. Uh, one Utopic Future, one Utopic Draco Future, two Time Star, one Baguska. This card is literally Plan B against Maxi. You need it. One Hope Harbinger, uh, one Electromite, one Celine, one Apollosa, one Axis Code Talker. As far as budget versions of this deck, the main deck is extremely budget. A majority of it is from the structure decks. And uh, I understand Upstart and Chicken Game is not so budget. So if you guys really, they're not absolutely vital. If you guys really want, you can remove the Chicken Game Upstart if you want to if you guys are playing a budget version but i would advise play the full extra deck the full extra deck is mandatory uh throw everything in here you don't savage dragon is the 15th least important but i mean try and build get it if you can that is the deck it is absolutely broken i hope you guys enjoy the video i love zark it is it, for a very long time zark was one of my favorite ways to play pendulums uh i'm not some Yu Gi Oh nerd that watches the anime but one time i remember watching a clip on youtube when I really love Pendulum Magicians of Zark, and it was just like, ah, oh, this is so sick. So it's, it makes me happy to bring this out in Master Duel. This deck is absolutely unbelievable. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button and make sure to smash the like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below if you guys like more Master Duel content. Make sure to check out the Patreon for literally Master Duel training. I'm going to be posting two or three videos on Zark specifically because I feel that this is a lot more difficult to learn than other Pendulum decks. If you guys want to learn about it, check it out in the description. And if you guys want to get into the TCG or if you're a TCG player, I posted very neatly down below every single beautiful playmat we have released on the website. So go check them out for yourselves. The artwork is absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys.
the next video. Peace!